Another thing uh, not so obvious is uh, the treatment of uh, the, the texts within the score. And I'm not talking about lyrics, I'm talking about text. There's a difference. So uh, what's happening is that a lot of people uh, get frustrated with uh, things moving around in the page and they thought that they stick this uh, this little note on uh, a particular measure and then they do something or the measure automatically rearranges itself from the automatic up, uh, layout update and then they, they, their text ends up in a totally different spot than their music that originally was intended to be. So this is because the software treats the text uh, the texts uh, in a different way depending on the view that you are looking at. The scroll view uh, diff uh, treats differently the texts than the page view. On the page view, the text is a page object. That means it's going to stay on that page and on that particular uh, spot. No matter what music is underneath it, it doesn't matter. Whereas the, the, the scroll view, it's a by measure uh, object. The text becomes a measure object and it sticks with the measure and if you move the measure to a different page it's going to move with the measure so let's see that and that's why you see i'm on measure you know i can't see the whole page right now and if i scroll and if i change to the scroll view i see measure one but i don't see any titles i don't see the titles i don't see the composers i don't see the copyright notes nothing of that stuff of that sort and that's because these are not measure uh, attributes. Uh, they're not measure objects and the scroll view tends to only show measure objects. So let's illustrate that really quick. I press the text tool and let's say I need a note uh, up above this measure here. Okay, so I, I double click. Let's let's zoom in for, for a little bit. Okay, this is 100%. I double click wherever I want to appear. So I put an asterisk and I say, for example, what's this? Okay. So this is it, and I have it now, and uh, it's a false assumption to assume that if I move this measure around, this is going to move with it. Okay, so keep that in mind. Like for example, if I if I if I uh, select all these measures here, and uh, let's say try to do fit music as we did in the previous tutorial with Control M, and I want to lock all those selected measures into one system that's going to automatically expand those four measures and make it one system and it's going to kick those two underneath. So here it is. Okay. But now my text stayed in place. And so the what's this has nothing to do with this measure that I originally intended. Okay. So keep that in mind. And you put things on the page that, that you definitely know that they're going to stick on that page and on that particular uh, spot. For example, the title is going to stick with, with it uh, and it's going to be on the f first page no matter what, above the music no matter what, and there, and that's why it's there. Uh, also, if you want to put notes and footnotes uh, for the first page, they can stick there. For example, you want to you know, you explain something about the piece on that first page, you put it down there and it's going to stay there. But now, as in regards to that particular piece of information that we want for that measure, we then, let's copy this, we then have to go, let's say this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, measure 9. We have to go to scroll view, okay, and we have to go to measure 7, 8, 9, it's the next one, okay, okay, 7, 8, 9, and then we put it here. It's the same text, the same thing, but just above measure 9, okay. So now it shows up here. That if it shows up in the scroll view, it means is a measure object. So even if we switch back now to the page view, it's above measure nine. We can still move around, but it's a part of measure nine. If we do the fit measures again with Control M, and we lock them in one system, which is going to kick these two underneath. Now you see the what's this moved along with the measure. Okay. So this is a big difference and uh, it can create a lot of frustration when you move things around and you don't know why things are not appearing in the proper place. Okay, So there's a difference in the handling uh, of the text uh, depending on the, on the type of view that you're working on. Scroll view, things are attached to measures, 
page view, things are attached on the page and have nothing to do with music and notes. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial.